You may not know what home appraisal is, but do you know how the appraisal value is determined? Stay here and I'll explain it to you just a moment. Hi, this is Sushma and thank you for tuning in. The term home appraisal has different meanings depending on who is doing the appraisal and why. The real estate agent's version is called current market analysis or CME that is done when a seller wants to know how much to list their house for. The real estate agent will use MLS to take comparables for sale properties as similar as possible to subject property to show the seller what homes on the market they would be competing with. Then the agent would select comparable sold properties that would have sold the most recent, preferably within the past 30 days and be as similar as possible. The agent would also select expired listings of similar properties to show the seller what is not selling on the market. Although these appraisals are fairly accurate for the purpose of establishing a good listing price, it is only as accurate as the experience and quality of the agent and is not acceptable to a bank or lending institution for lending purposes. When you purchase a home, you have to be qualified by the bank to get your mortgage. This means that you would have to supply job letters proving your employment and have a good credit score. Some buyers think that once approved by the bank, all is well. Unfortunately, that sometimes is not the case. The bank does not just call it for you. They also have to qualify the house. This is where an appraisal is done for the buy and accredited appraiser and is often called a bank appraisal. The appraiser will only use data on homes that have sold and closed. An appraiser will visit your home to determine its condition. They'll conduct both an interior and exterior evaluation, then compare your property to recent home sales in the area known as comps to come up with an appraised value. The most common type of an appraisal for a residential property is the Uniform Residential Appraisal Report. It consists of interior and exterior photos, comparison sales, that's comps, and a complete cost breakdown of the property, such as square footage, lot size, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms and many home improvements. This type of appraisal is a blend of both a market and cost approach to determine its fair market value. The cost approach establishes the value of the home by determining what the cost would be rebuilt the structure from the ground up. The value approach determines value using comparison sales in the immediate area that have sold within a recent period of time. The bank will want to know that the home financing they provide can be supported by the collateral and you'll want to make sure you're not paying more than the home is worth within reason. Now what happens if the appraisal does not match the purchase price as we often see today in the decreasing market? Let's say you buy a house for 1.2 million in February of this year and you're closing at the end of June but the market has depreciated since you bought and the bank appraises the house just prior to closing. The appraisal currently comes in at 1.1 million. The bank will only lend you to 80% of the value. You anticipated only putting down $240,000, but now you have to put down $320,000. Coming up with an extra $80,000 can be difficult. In a case like this, I hope you would have friends or family that can help you out or a possible nest egg that you would need to cash in to close. Not closing has dire consequences and something you would not need to have legal advice on. In the up market like the last two years before the recent downturn, there's always a risk of appraisals coming up short due to overheated market and bidding wars. When you are in such a situation as a buyer, you should have a dependable source of additional funds if you need them. Also something else to keep in mind that the bank appraisals tend to be more conservative when it comes to refinancing the existing mortgage or securing a home line of credit. I hope you found these details informative and interesting. If you're thinking about selling your home, then you should watch this video next where I talk about how you can avoid costly home seller mistakes. Thank you for watching and staying till the end of the video. Please like and subscribe and comment to my channel.